So this is why I typically don't buy chips from Amazon. You see, this is the Amazon barcode. And this was supposed to be a package of two Atmel EPROMs, the uh, AT28C256. And this is how they came. They're in this bag like this, instead of proper. You can see one of them is missing a pin. And if we look at the pins on these, you can tell that they're all coated with solder. Okay, you see on both of these. And what that means is these are not new. These are old chips that are relabeled as something else. And if we look at the top here, these both have the same 2130 date code right there. So 2021, 30th week. But these are two completely different chip packages. Look at the dot and the pin one location. This one's got kind of a ball, like curved inward one, and this one's flat. The markings are not in the same spot. The injection mold marks for the cases are completely different. And these, it might not be, you might not be able to see it in here, but it looks like the tops have been sanded and painted. And I'm willing to bet if I took like acetone um, I, it would probably turn black because the paint would be coming off. But like the even the edges of the chips, you can see like there's, I don't know if you can really tell, it looks like there's paint. You see that? And this is why I typically don't buy them from Amazon or AliExpress. I will get them from Mauser or DigiKey, but these were for a pinball board I'm messing with. And I figured, well, I'll just grab two off there really quick. And I got fakes. So didn't save me any time. Now I got to package this up and send this crap back to them and like i said these might work but this one's completely missing a leg it's probably because it got damaged when they were pulling it off but these are all tinned so yep 